Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. The last time you've seen me get the floor prepped ready to go in, it can't go in until I've done this bracket and tidied up the top bracket. So what I was waiting on was one of these seatbelt reinforcement bracket. What a hassle I've had with this. <laughs> and I don't know why, some things just seem to cause you problems. So I decided to replace this Although the original one, I could have probably got away with it, but I thought, nah, if I'm replacing all around it, I'll replace this. So, I ordered one, it came, and then I realised I'd ordered the wrong side. I'd ordered the right-hand side instead of the left-hand side, and these are sided, so I had to order another one. So, I ordered another one, and it came, and when it came, I was not happy with it. It was terrible paintwork, it had what looked like welding splatter and surface rust, and surface rust underneath the paint. Um, I did take a couple of photos, I'll show you here. So I decided to send that back. So anyway, it's been ordered from somewhere else. I've got it, it's good to go. So the orientation, I just checked the fit before I removed any paint or done anything. This sits here, and this bit needs to be flush with here so that the floor sits flat against it. This part here sits here and tucks under there. So what I need to do, I've always got the top one as a comparison. I'm not going to attach it all because this is going to get removed, as uh, many of you all know. I can do a simple tack wheel to hold it in place just to get it there. But what I need to do is remove some of this paint so I can get a clean weld on it. So I need to remove paint from here, the back edge here, the underside here. I also need to remove it from here and here and here. And then that can be primed with well through primer as I did with the floor. The bits that you can't see anyway. And then I can start getting this welded in. What I'm going to do with this to hold it in place, I could put a clamp here. Um, to be honest, I probably will anyway, but to make sure it's lined up and at the right place, I'm just going to put the seatbelt bolt through here that bolts to it, and that'll hold it nice and tight. So, first thing, get some of this paint removed. dry it's the next again day and I'm going to get them clamped in and I'm going to hopefully get them welded in my welding gas is running quite low so I'm hoping it's got enough for this so get it set where I want get it clamped and go from there this lip here from the bump stop bracket judging by the one that came off on the other side goes on the outside here and the seatbelt support bracket tucks in behind it. So I just need to line it up so it's level with this because if you remember when the floor comes on this gets welded to the floor and if it's too high for example if I done it up here there'll be a gap between this and the floor so it has to be perfect at this stage.
Right, about five minutes later, and I'm happy now. I think this is what's known as death by clamps. I've got one, two, three, four, and the seatbelt five. But what I found when I put a few on, it was pulling one bit tight, but pulling another bit away. And when you've got two brackets and two panels, you're trying to connect four bits of metal together. So, um, yeah, this is the best way I got it. It's going to be fiddly to get in and weld, but all the points of contact are tight. So, tight here, tight down here, tight in here, tight in here, tight there, and yeah, I'm not seeing there's not enough room, but tight against here because I need to plug weld through there. So, it's time to get some welds on these. Seen there was filmed in 2019, December, late November time. Had a lot of stuff on, had stuff to do in the house, still got stuff to do in the house, uh, and other bits and pieces sort of ground the restoration to a halt. So we're now into late February, and this is me hopefully getting back into Elnor, Ed, Misty, the Moggy, and um, the new Mini as well. The weather hasn't helped, I have to say. Have a look at this. This was earlier today. So, right back into where I left off. Obviously the same video for you guys, but for me it's been months and months and I'm so glad to get back into it. Sometimes a break away gets you all um, motivated to go again and that's exactly what's what's happened for me. So this is welded in now as I explained earlier on. Not the neatest up here but as you can see from the old one it's only actually got three tacks on it. I did have the tacks on I just didn't think it looked um, neat enough so yeah I just went for this. Even though it's never going to be seen I'll know it's there and um, solid wise it's going nowhere. As I said previously, tack on here just now just to hold it in place because this wheel actually is getting replaced and um, it's fixed along here as it as it was here as well just with a stitch weld. So this is done, I'll give it another coat of paint. This one up here I'm still undecided. I do have the parts there to replace but the only bit I'm concerned about is this bit here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get it all cut back, see how good the metal is, see if I can either put a patch in here or if um, it's going to need replaced. I'm going to gas for the welder and it's a Saturday. Why does it always happen on a Saturday when um, the shops are shut? Anyway, cut this back, see if it's going to be able to be kept, replaced and then I can get the boot back in clamped in place and um, welded on, the boot welded on, it's been far too long and I've not wanted these videos to drag on so I'm going to get the boot floor attached as best I can to what panels I can at the moment and then I'm just going to try and break the videos down for Elnor into stages so you know I'll, I'll cover a wheel arch, I'll cover the rear valance so on so on I've spun Elna around again to get a better look at the bottom bracket. And to be honest, I've given it a quick clean up and it's pretty solid. There's still a lot of good metal left here. The only little bit here is a nick, which I could probably get away with just putting a bit of weld on there, toughen that up. So, yeah, I've decided I'm keeping this bracket. What I do need to do before the floor's in, which will help me when I'm doing the wheel arch at a later date, not too long hopefully 
is I need to break this weld here and also there's another stitch weld in there. I can do that now while I've got access, clean it up and it means that when the wheel latch comes off it will make it so much easier to weld onto the new wheel latch. And it's little things like that that make your life easier further down the line. So that took me about half an hour just to carefully break the stitch weld here and here. As always with the minis it's access. You can't get in here with a, an angle grinder. Had to use basically a chisel and a belt sander. And it's all been done in etch primer. So basically when the boot floor is on covering here it means that now I've got easy access when I put the new wheel arch on. So I'll leave that video there, I'll pick up next time where I left off. I'm not going to go into too much detail with these bits, just enough to show what I'm doing and cover what I'm doing without going into detail that's going to be boring content because I don't want that either. It's a fine line at times with body work but um, I do try my best not to make it boring to show what I'm doing and to do different things so yeah. Um, remember, I do these videos for fun, I do them to help you guys, I'm not a professional welder, not a professional <laughs> editor, uh, this is just my hobby, and speaking to you guys through comments, through the Facebook group, through meeting, th through this channel, uh, it's what keeps me going, it's what keeps me motivated, I know you've all got minis there, and that's at the end of the day, we just want to bring back our minis or classic cars to life and enjoy them. That's ultimately the goal. So yeah, thanks for watching, take care and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers!